everybody welcome back this is part four of our loaded paper bag and let's just as a reminder I'm going to just do a quick flip through on what we've done I've come back I've added some little vintage um, these are like little souvenir photos I'm guessing probably 40s I've just tucked some of those in there this was just an extra bit of paper I've done some stenciling so that's been tucked into that one and just added a few things here and there. It's getting pretty chunky as you can see already. I've just added a little bit of trims just because I want you know it to have, have lots of things hanging out. Some more extra little bits of paper and um, I've just tried to do various little cards that I found that I've printed and I just haven't used them in other projects and then I've made up a few little things with some fabric and laces and so on. Here I've got this was one of the extra pieces I've had and I've just added some bits of fabric and stitched that and I'm going to glue that there because I like the way that looks because um, I do like that paper bag, but I've got quite a bit of it showing in the back, so I'm happy to add, to cover it a little bit here, just for something a little bit interesting. Okay, and then, so that's tucked in there. And then we've got this one, and these are pretty full. Several things there. <clears throat> Old postcard. So let me keep those because I want those to show. And then here I've got another old postcard that I've just tucked into this. This is from Paris. Um, So I'll tuck that in. We've got all of that. Okay, so now this is where we are now. So I've got a couple of little things I've set to the side here that I know I want to play around with. <clears throat> this is just a old recipe that I've printed off of the internet. And I just want to put this tiny little pocket on the back of that. And then I'm going to add this little tag to it and tuck that in there. So let me get my paper here. Let's see. And then this will be um, completed. So that's good. It didn't take that long, really. Um, you can see. Uh, things always take longer when I'm trying to video them, but if you were doing this, you wouldn't have to, it wouldn't take that long to do this project from start to finish. And I think it's turned out so sweet. So this, and again, these are the chapter one, gosh, she's got some pretty kits. Um, I've seen a few of Angela's videos lately and she's working with some of the new kits from chapter one and they are so cute and I must get around to purchasing a couple of those because what I like about them they all coordinate nicely together all right I'm just going to tuck this in um, probably in this back one here. There's quite a lot going on in this. I mean, you can see. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to. I am going to add this. I think here. Just because I think that looks really nice. And then, <clears throat> again, this is a freebie from Nick the Booksmith on her... Oh, I don't know. If you go to her channel, she will direct you. I 
don't know if it was a website, but anyways, that's where this came from. And I'm just going to stencil on it so that it's another place to do some writing. I'll do another little one down here in the corner. So let's see where I can add this because I kind of want to see this one as well. Okay, actually, that's pretty tall. Let me see if I can go back here. And then this is a um, guest check that I tea dyed, so I'm just going to add this little bit of, it's a fussy cut uh, flower, I believe this was an Artie Maze. I'm pretty sure this was an Artie Maze image. I just did a little bit of stenciling there. And again, you could do some uh, journaling on the back of that. Gosh, it's getting pretty full, isn't it? Okay, and I'll do the final one. I was going to do this, but I don't think it really needs it. This is pretty chunky, so... These are just little bits of scrap that I've got, and I am just going to stencil a little bit here. This is one of the shipping tags. This was uh, just left over, so I'm just going to add that. Okay, and then I think I've got some sorry around here that I was going to use to to tie this with. It's pretty full, guys. Let me pull this out so you can see the side. Look at that. That is chunky, chunky. So hopefully I've got enough. And 
enough sorry silk here. I hope I do. These were already cut. I, when they come in, I cut them right away, and I go ahead and um, when I order them, I go ahead and iron them all. So I'm hoping this is going to be long enough. So that's how it all looks, guys. Let me give you a close-up here. So you can see, look at all the different layers. I really like how this has come out. Like I said, you know, it's the little journal back here is very simple. I'll, I'll probably, before this goes out, I might just do a little bit of stamping. I might add a pocket or two in the front of that. But that's all little things that, you know, each person, you can tweak it as you like. But... I do like the way that's come out. It's just full of bits for somebody to enjoy adding to their journal. So that is going to go into my little folder. And um, who knows? This might be in a giveaway very soon. <laughs> I've got quite a few things, guys, that uh, we've been making. So I've just got to decide what, what's going to be... Um, what, what I'm going to be giving away next, but um, that's probably going to be my intention, is to do a giveaway for my, um, you know, some of my uh, different tiered um, patrons. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Just a fun, quick little project for you to do, and it's a great way to use up some of your scraps, because we've all got loads of them uh, laying around, and I have enjoyed this. So. So I hope that you guys have it as well. Take care of yourselves, and I'll be back very soon with more projects. Bye!